Time Zones Why do we have time zones? Dawn and dusk occur at different times at different places because of the Earth's rotation. However, time differences between distant locations were barely noticeable in the past because of long travel times and the lack of long distance communications. The expansion of transport and communications as well as trade globalization during the 19th century created a need for a more unified timekeeping system. In 1878, Sir Sanford Fleming of Canada proposed the system of worldwide time zones that we use today. He recommended that the world be divided into 24 time zones, each spaced 15 degrees of longitude apart. Now let us understand what time zones are. Time zones are geographical globe division of 15 degrees each, starting at Greenwich in England, created to help people know what time is it now in another part of the world. It is convenient for areas in close commercial or other communication to keep the same time so that time zones tend to follow the boundaries of countries and their subdivisions. Earth is divided into 24 time zones. The time at zero degrees latitude is called the Greenwich Mean Time or the Coordinated Universal Time. The 24 time zones extend east and west around the globe for 180 degrees to the international date line from the prime meridian. Since the Earth rotates once every 24 hours and there are 360 degrees of longitude, each hour the Earth rotates 1 24th of a circle or 15 degrees of longitude. Let us have a look on the map of the world showing different time zones. The time zones east to the coordinated universal time are ahead of it by one hour every 15 degrees longitude. If it is 12 noon at Greenwich, the time at the zone immediate to its east would be 1 p.m. Similarly, Time zones west of Greenwich will lag by one hour every 15 degrees longitude. Many nations worldwide use UTC in the definition of their time zones instead of GMT. The definition for time zones can be written in short form as UTC plus or minus N or GMT plus or minus N where N is the offset in hours. It is important to note that some countries have non-standard time zones, usually with a 30-minute offset. Some also have a 45-minute offset as well. For example, India maintains a time zone of 5 hours and 30 minutes ahead of coordinated universal time. So we write it as UTC plus 5 hours 30 minutes. It means if it is 12 noon at Greenwich in London, the clock in India would be 5.30 p.m. What is international date line? It is an imaginary line on the surface of the earth running from north to south pole located at 180 degrees longitude. Although the international date line generally follows the 180 degrees meridian, it does diverge in places. Since 180 degrees line runs through several countries, it would divide those countries not simply into two different time zones, but into two different calendar days. To avoid such unnecessary confusion, 
the date line dips and bends across countries to permit them to share the same time. Immediately to the left of the international date line, the date is always one day ahead of the place that is immediately on the right of the international date line. Now, let us understand how international date line actually works. When it is midnight at the international date line, the entire world is on the same day. But after a few minutes, a tiny slice of the earth immediately to the left of the international date line is on a new day. So, there are actually two date lines. One is at the international date line and the other wherever it is midnight. Let us assume the new day on the tiny slice as Monday. As each hour passes, Monday gets larger and Sunday gets smaller. This is how the days start and end at various places on the earth. Brought to you by Combeat India's Jito Bharat, a one-stop internet-based interactive coaching for civil services exams. For more information, log on to www.jitobharat.com.